But you know what the real thing is? What? You know what the real thing is? You haven't been to a game yet in which we've won this season. No, I don't think that's you have. You haven't been to a game yet in which we've won this season. So I'm telling you right now. Too busy earning money. I'm telling you right now. If we lose tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you! So today on BTS Sport we are heading off to the Gold Coast Titans versus Manly Sea Eagles match at Steve Bus Super Stadium. I'm keen for this. What do you guys reckon? I reckon we're going to take the time. We're going to take the time. See you later, BCB. Cherry Evans for nothing. Cherry Evans. How much has Cherry Evans got, Dan? Zero. Zero. What was that like accent? It was like zero. Zero. Cherry Evans for nothing. Nothing. Question. Is this the first time you've ever been on game? Negative, brother. Negative? No further questions. No, no further, further questions. No further questions. Are you sure? Does this, does this look familiar to you at all? I was on this, TV already. Does this, this TV already. look familiar to you? I was on TV already. Yeah, there's that. Uh, already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've already been on TV, apparently. No, me. Just me. No, I saw myself. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I thought. See? Look at that. Beautiful fellow, right? Eh? Yeah, so much. Hey? Hey? Yes! <laughs> Go! Yeah. Next time. <laughs> See you next year. Yeah. Half time here at the Goggles Titans all eating. 16 nil on the under 20s. How are you going, Dano? No, no, no. How are you going, Dano? <laughs> proving me wrong so far. Yeah, exactly. Proving right. me wrong so yeah, far. you basically tipped him to come never. That's what you you tipped, tipped him to come him never. Third eight. What are they right in this second? Seventh at the moment. They're currently seventh and they win this game. Which looks pretty good at the moment. That look pretty good at the moment. All right, all right. But if they win this game, wrong. they go up to, I think it's top four. Fourth or fifth, I'm yeah, not too sure. But so. pretty much the same thing, Dan. Yeah. It's quite a while away from 10th, which is quite a while away from 13th. <laughs> because I said 10th, yeah, you, you said 13th. Both wrong. I don't know about your uh, math. I don't know about your math, Dan. What do you reckon about the game tonight? It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be easy. Mainly coming off what? 24 unanswered points against the Broncos. Exactly. That was Losing one. their star fullback in Tom Tavoy. It's going to be hard for them, but mate, we're what? Three game winning streak. Been down the storm last week, which um, I'm still pinching myself. And also the Sharks? 24 12. 12 12. So the exact same as what happened to Manly last week. What do you reckon, Dino? Oh my god. Who's this guy? What do you reckon the score is going to be, Sunshine? Oh, man, again? Oh my god. No. Oh my god. I'm it out there for all the viewers. He hasn't seen the Titans win this year. We have discussed this. We have to say it again. We have established this, Dan. We have established this. We have established this, Dan. Dan, we have established this. Yeah, he's your mate. Yeah, your mate. It's Flag. You need help. It's his nickname. You need help. Ten million dollars, yeah? Ten million dollars. Have you seen him in this game yet? No, no. I haven't seen him anywhere. No, no. I haven't seen him anywhere. Full time at the under 20s match, and the Gold Coast Titans have come out on top 36 to 12 over Manly. What's your thoughts on that one? Massive surprise. I'm here with Tyson, didn't even introduce him yet, already asking him a question. What do you reckon of that game, mate? Obviously, uh, we didn't expect that at the beginning of the year. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. What's that? Oh, Yes, it's it, it meant to be, but there's no real con like confirmation or anything yet. Um, but then we're in top four now, which is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Back to the actual game, the big fellas. Jared Hayne has the option to sign on for another extra year. Do you believe that's the right like pathway for the club to go in? Well, look, yeah, so either way, so if we, if we don't sign him on, we get all that money to sign a lot of more players. But he does sign on, fantastic. Jared Hayne is still a cracker player. He's been playing a few really good weeks. In those he needs to stay fit. That is a real thing. But since he's been back, beat the Sharks, beat the Knights, beat the Storm.
six to Manly. I'm here with Richard. What is this stitch up? What is this stitch up? Right now? Jeez, what's going on? So one sided. The amount of our size is just honestly, it's ridiculous. Like we started chanting about our size. That's oh, how bad it got. We started to chant. Yeah, we started to chant. What do you reckon of the game so far? Is it a fair representation of uh, what's happening? It's one sided. You know, it's obviously on the manly side, so I don't know. Hopefully, the second half we get back into it, you know? 100%. Well, manly were out, I think it was 12 or 14 nil last week against the Broncos at half time, and they lost 24 14. So, uh, there is a little bit of an opportunity there. What do you think about the whole drug situation in the NRL at the moment? They get paid a lot of money. These young kids get into the game. They don't know what to do with their money. And they have a little bit of a party. I mean, they work hard during the season. That's it, I guess. You know, if they get caught, then they get caught. But that's, uh, you know, they have to set an example for the younger kids. 100%. But, you know, in the end, they take that risk, don't they? Yeah. Well, they are, yeah, they are still human. Like, it's all just in the limelight a bit more. But the kids are looking up to them. So, yes, they should be doing it public. What do you reckon of the final of the season? Do you think uh, Origin Puri is going to be an upper for us? Because we don't have many Origin players? Yeah, I I hope, I hope Wallace gets in because I mean, I'm, I'm a New South Wales supporter, but Wallace is uh, playing all sorts of high. You know? yeah. As far as that goes, I think we've got a good chance. You know, we're in the same position as last year. We just smashed like this. We've got eight back and forth, hopefully, signs that he comes through. Yeah. And you reckon New South Wales are finally going to win one? Yep, definitely. You're wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. That's got 30 points. However, like everything was changed by all those offsides in the first half, and I'm just livid. It's like, look, it's oh, one of the It's just, I feel like it's just the basic calls. I'm not blaming the entire game on them. Trust me, we had some serious mistakes. Wait, why did we even run a walker ever? Like he's injured. Yeah, he's injured. He's hobbling the entire time. We didn't get him. Yeah. We let it go. That's how Melbourne Storm scored against us last week. We definitely get the ball. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying this content. I am not happy with that result. I am really not happy with that result. However, uh, look, we're 11th and we're, be we're not coming last. That's the main thing, Dan. Yeah. That is the main thing. That so is the main thing. We stay, in, we stay in 11th, manly go up to 6th. Alright, see you later, Dan. Just get out of here. Just, you know. Leave me on my own in the vlog. Leave me on my own, Dan. Thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy it definitely give it a subscribe, there's plenty of sporting action on here. Thanks for watching, that's right.